Let's do this. Yo! What's up, everybody? Cardboard uh, Moses, which you welcome. It's about that time. We're going to go ahead and do a little Allen and Ginther baseball. Half case number six. Well, Brian, you still have a little bit of time. There you go. Boom. So if you want to propose a trade, Brian, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, I will announce when the trade uh, deadline is when it approaches. But what I'm going to do is first I got to grab the case. You got it, Logan. You got it. Let's see what I can do. Let me grab that case. Ginta. Of course, it's the case all the way at the bottom. All right. Allen and Ginter should be good. This stuff is always fun. Very, very funky product. I like it. I like it. It's one of my favorite breaks to do. It does take some time. But you know what they say. All good things come with a little time. Ah, I don't think that's exactly the quote, but you, you know what I'm saying. Got some from the top, from the middle, from the bottom. You know how I like to mix it up. Mm -hmm. All right. If you guys want to do any trades, time is now. Good luck, everybody. <coughs> you want to try that again? Good luck, everybody. Thank you, everybody. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I want to see maybe a rip card. Or a dinosaur tooth. I'm going to open the uh, box topper at the end. So here's the deal. I'm going to open up all the packs. By the time I'm done with that, no more trades. So you have now. Excuse me. All this doggone dust in here, man. <coughs> Jeez. Let's get that gold standard filled while we do this break, y'all. Doesn't look like any trades are happening.
uh, J Mesh, there's Crown Royale that comes out next week. Uh, let me take a gander at my release catalog thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so there's Crown Royale basketball on the twenty third. Uh, series 1 Baseball Hobby and Jumbo on the 30th. Um, limited Football also on the 30th. Optic Basketball on the 30th. That is the, uh, the most immediately close things to coming out. Brandon, right? I mean, I, I talked to Jason earlier today. And uh, we have that, that Leaf Ultimate Hockey deal that we last did for eBay. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's more than likely going to be eBay, Brandon. Uh, ooh, we already got the gray hot box here. Here come the minis. Obviously, this goes to the uh, non-baseball spot right there. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty slow for for a for a, for a few weeks, JMS. Arenado mini. Chris Davis of the Orioles. Always gotta check the back of those mini cards. Cause some of them are numbered. Louis Brinson, patch for the Marlins. The Albies Mini, Graves, <clears throat> Lamb D Box Mini. Got a mini frame here for Darvish of the Cubs. Not numbered, but there you go. That's the thing with these minis, they just fall all over the place. Dickerson Pirates. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? <clears throat> Cisco Orioles mini. Got these freaking the little jalapenos or whatever on there. That's pretty cool. This this set is so random. The home run challenge cards. Mats of the Mets. Freaking dinosaur teeth in this stuff. Paul Goldschmidt with a D-Vax patch. I do. I, I I love it, man. It's a, it's a really fun product. Myers Padres Mini. <clears throat> Pocahontas. <laughs> it's so random. The Rally Cap. <coughs> Epstein. Zimmerman, Bradley Jr., Red Sox, I wonder what jerseys we're coming out with, I hope we come out with the red jerseys, looking for blood, Mabin, that guy's garbage, Mankata, The 
Bob's Burger Boys guy there. Indigenous <clears throat> heroes. I want to get a, on an Allen and Ginter card one day. And a couple of years ago, uh, we were partnered up uh, with these uh, with this other breaking uh, company, the uh, the Jaspies, and uh, Big Daddy Mike Jasperson had his own Allen and Ginter card. I was a little jealous. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I know I made it. That's how I know I made it. When I when when me and Jason get our, our very own Allen Ginter cards. Open up the uh, box toppers at the end. I mean, me and me and Jason, we have our, we have we have our very own uh, rare trading cards. You know, one on one, already slapped. You know, the, the, these these are the only ones. So. It has been done before. I think they do that on the website on their website, right, Empire? <coughs> They are, they're telling you, Matt, they're true one on ones. <coughs> Whoa, J Mess, where where did that come from? Tell me how you really feel. As I sip this water. <clears throat> Matt. Well, we don't have any hoodies yet. That would actually be a very awesome idea since it's going to be a little chilly in uh, in Rosemont by the time the National comes around. Well, J. Mess, that, that is the, uh, that's the age that we live in, man. But Matt, you know, I, I really do want to get some, some merch, though. Let's, let, let, let's, let, I know we're bullshitting here, but uh, serious question. What's the most you guys are willing to pay for a t-shirt? Or a hoodie for that matter. I think we get some hats made too. Not for nothing, our logo's pretty sweet. I like our logo. It, it maybe we need to update a little bit. So so some cardboard tidy whities for about twenty bucks, a t shirt for twenty. Thirty for the hoodie. Sounds about right. That's 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 what I would pay for, shit. Yeah, I'm not going to pre-sort this because this is going to take me forever if I do that. So my sorters are going to earn their paycheck with this one. Got Robinson Cano. Patch for the Mariners. What about a hat? What about like those dad hats that are popular now? 
Well, what's what's the most you guys would be willing to spend for that? Uh, Hank Aaron mini. Exactly, JMS. That's that's what I'm thinking of too. You know, once we start getting merch, we could use it for giveaways and so on and so forth. Rip City socks. <laughs> Yeah, but then nobody gonna see the logo, dog. That, that's um, you know, unless you unless you were unless you rocking like knickerbockers with the uh, with the knee high shorts. Ramirez Indians. David, you wouldn't rock a little Rip City cards uh, fitted, or maybe uh, maybe not a fitted, but uh, like a snapback. Or those dad hats that are popular now. Riley. With the with the high top air forces, huh, Empire? Could no mini. Freaking Ian Rappaport on this man. I'm gonna get on an Allen Ginter card. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Oh, yo! <laughs> a Rip City keychain would be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I definitely want to get, like, uh, sorting mats and stuff like that. That'd be cool. So, so for you guys, I know some of you guys like to take pictures of your mail days and post it on the Facebook group or... Your social media or whatever. That would be a cool uh, cool little thing. Have sorting mats. You know, get a little shameless plug there too. Always check the back of the minis. Some of them are numbered. Bullpen card. That is a non-baseball spot. It pretty exactly, Jameis. That that's why we've been a little hesitant with that. Rip City fanny packs might be the move, though, uh, Matt. That might be the move. What is it with fanny packs? I feel like they've that they're coming back in style out of nowhere. Who's in charge of these trends? Yeah, they are, JMS. Some of them are uh, are actually glow in the dark. Renato Door, Rangers patch. All right, it's been straight patches so far. We're bound to hit a big time autograph here. It's coming, it's coming. Not yet, Joe Pa. Not yet. What you talking about, Blob? I've seen a Frank Thomas uh, card here and there. Bo Jackson, uh, not that I can remember, though. No. So far, yes, James. Oh, the fanny packs? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but seriously, though, I see a lot of people rocking fanny packs. Like, what, like as of the last year or two, fanny packs have been, like, a thing. For boys and girls. Holy crap! The Sixers put up 83 points at halftime? What? Jeez. That's got to be a record. Hmm. 
Ha, <laughs> J-Mash. That's hilarious. <laughs> that was not a travel? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, come on, bruh. Yes, they would have to be R R RFID wallets, for sure. For sure. We're all about protecting your privacy here at Rip City Cards. Joe Pa, 83 points at halftime, though? That's crazy. That's got to be a record. Justice Winslow running a point, man. Might have, might have found a little diamond in the rough there with that kid. It only took him three years. Grinky and Mini. All right, we're due for a big time autograph here, or a dinosaur tooth or something. See, there's a little mini numbered. Heavy bias of the Cubs to 25. Uploaded to <clears throat> anybody watching that Broner Pacquiao fight this weekend? I think Dillashaw uh, also fights this weekend against Cejudo. There's gonna be some good fights this weekend. I don't know about that Broner Pacquiao fight. I think Pacquiao is going to whoop Broner's ass. Broner, um, you know, that, that guy's a clown. Well, Blob, I mean, I'll do that at the end when I do the recap. It's going to be fairly easy to keep track of hit lists for this. Autographs, 101s, and relics are the hits. So I'll just do it when I recap it. Verlander, Astromin, Lindsey Vaughn. There's a rib card. 22 of 50, Chris Archer of the Rays. And it is a rib card. Oh, boy. Considering it's Ginter, this would be considered a hit right here. For the Rays, 22 of 50, Chris Archer, rip card. What would you guys do? Who who has the Rays? Would you rip it, keep it? What would you, what would you do? Evans, Mini. <clears throat> Zobrist, Cubs Mini. A one of one. Many frame plates here for the Cubs. Uh, ben Zobrist. There you go. A little one on one mojo. Alright, that top loader's crap. But yeah, a rib card means that there's a. There's a there's there's usually something inside there. What it is, we won't know until you open it if you decide to open it. So, all right, this is not working for me. There could it could be a dud. There could be something stupid nice in there. 
You won't know until you rip it. Yeah, for sure, JMS. I, I tried to uh, make it fit, but yeah. It can, 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 can be rough all the time. Back of Manny. Tecumseh. Pedro Martinez, Mini. Who's your daddy? Alex, are you sure? Are you positive? Fide Nationals. Well, look, I'm going I'm to get it on video here. So, Alex, I have the raise. Rip that for all the people. He says. There is proof right there. Brantley Indians. Yeah, because, you know, I don't want... Hey, man, I never told you to rip it, man. I want my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Carpenter Cardinals. Relic. Bloomstein. Oh, look, I'm 100% positive that he wants me to do the, uh, the rip card. All right, I'll do it uh, once I'm done with this stack here. I just, just wanted to, to, to show it on the video. Cobb Mini. Dude, I hope it's something insane for you. Barreto A's. Oh, look at that babe right there. Swanson. Mr. Doolittle. <clears throat> Claustrophobia. Little mini there. All right. Where's the rip card? Here it is. Oh boy. Well, you told me you want me to rip it. So, we gonna rip it. I've actually never done this before. So, I'm a little scared. Well, I already already ripped it there. So, let me uh, marinate it a little bit. Uh, so, in a rip card, for those of you guys that have never seen this, uh, inside, you're either gonna get a red mini auto card, an exclusive mini parallel, an exclusive mini wood parallel, an exclusive mini metal parallel or a one on one sketch card. That that is what can come out of this. So let's see. Good luck, Alex. Oh boy. Looks like a Davers. Gotta be careful with this stuff, man. I don't wanna mess up that mini. I, you know, me and Jason met the guy that invented the rib card uh, from the Tops Company a couple years ago. That was that was a fun experience. Dang it! There it is. All right. So there's the the mini inside the rip card it's a Raphael Davers rookie mini it's not numbered but hopefully it's like a short print of some kind Tell me about it, Alex. I can still ship you this if you want. I'll sign the back or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's keep it going. Oh, 
Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. You sly, sly devil, you. Man, the heat let the bucks come back here. Oh, really? No response? Dude, I, I love customer service. Water time. All right. Come on, Ginzer. Finally, an autograph for the Brew Crew, Brandon Woodruff, the uh, rookie autograph. Put this thing in a uh, Milwaukee fan showing love to Dwayne Wade. My man did go to Marquette, which is in Milwaukee. So nice to see the crowd showing him some love. Dude, I'm really going to cry when D-Wade retires. You know, you know what they say, Brian? Filler teams. That yeah, babe. Anyway. to play with his skinny ass bat. Damn. Many 
for Ripken Jr. There was a past a bow there, but need some ink on that. Yeah, that kind of looks like me. Another babe. It's a bad deal. state flags on here Frederick Shane Boxer the Eclipse card Anthony Rizzo Cubs patch Another mini here for Syndergaard. Hoskins Phillies mini. Mejia. Didi Gregorius, Yankees patch. Albies. I got two boxes left. Need to get something big. Shooter McGavin. And we still got the box toppers to go through too. Could be an autograph in there for somebody. Always Brian, forever. He could cure cancer. Shoot him or Gavin, cures cancer. At least that's the role that I know him in. Like he's been in he's been in a few movies. I know he has. But I just, I know him as Shooter McGavin. How are we with gold standard? We got that filled in the store already, right? It was down to 10 spots last I checked.
John C., that's a great question, but I, I honestly don't know. What's up, Sebastian? <laughs> They, you know, they got forever Zach Morrison. And if you remember watching Saved by the Bell, that guy was kind of a dick. There's another autograph. Rookie autograph of the Cardinals. Was that Jordan Hicks? Yep. There you go. Yo, Brett, it's funny you mentioned that because it, it's it's been it like it pops up on my YouTube thing every now and again. But no, I have not seen it. But I know exactly what you're talking about. That's that's the first thing I thought of when he mentioned Zach Morris. Is it worth my time? They're hilarious. Okay, 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 okay. I'll take your word for it. USSR. Shawaba. Bryant Cubs. Cryptocurrency, non baseball spot. Seeger mini, I think those cryptocurrency minis. We used to sell for for like ten dollars or something. Ryan Brown Brewers patch. Let's set it aside anyway. Some big crazy horse. Well, Zvenny, dude, uh, don't have anything filled, man. So, whatever we can get filled in the store next, that's that's what I'll, that's what we'll do. But right now, nothing scheduled, man. We never have any scheduled breaks on our website. Just, just for a future reference. As soon as the break fills, we rip it, my man. Tanaka Mini. I'm not sure, Richard. I'm not sure, but I, I do remember when this product first came out. The uh, cryptocurrency was was selling for some moolah. It went nowhere, Blob. It went nowhere. We got it down to eight and then stalled. So I'm going to try that uh, once we're done here. Moogie Betts, Red Sox patch. And this is the Davers Mini. So this one is probably a short print variation here. The one that came out of that uh, out of that mini card. Yeah, the back is different too. Interesting. All right, 
you come down to the last box. I'm gonna go ahead and just top load the cryptocurrency anyways. Yeah, Alex here. Uh, the card number I believe is 360 on the back there. If that'll help. Box in the heat in a close game. Sounds good, Svenny. Sounds good. Hopefully, we can get that thing filled tonight. Last I checked, I think it was at 10 spots left. So, I'm not sure where it's at now. But once I'm done here, we'll see what's going on. Last box mojo. Need a big time hit here. Man, Giannis can't shoot free throws for shit. How are you supposed to be the MVP and you can't make free throws? Come on. That's why that's why I tell people, man, Giannis is low-key overrated. He still has a ways to go to be a true elite player. Well, Sebastian, I mean, considering that it's not something that we break that often, it, it would low-key be a waste of money, honestly. So we just put them in regular top loaders. I don't even, I don't even know if they make uh, many top loaders, honestly. They probably do. What do I know? I don't know anything. Last box mojo. Well, one touches is one thing that we're never gonna ship in, Sebastian. You 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 should know that by now. Uh, shipping in one touch is a, is a huge no-no. The corners would get so messed up. Oh, they do make mini top loaders? Learn something new every day. I mean, we would have to order mini top loaders only for Allen and Ginter. And considering we don't, we don't really break that that much, that's why we don't have any. But anyways... Last box mojo. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a head. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they make many ones. Really? Damn. I don't know why I'm surprised. For the Astros, we have Correa with a piece of the bat there. Carlos Correa, nice hit for the Astros. A little something, something. Line there. 
And the buck started to pull away on the heat, man. We were close, man. What's going on? T-H-O-D, man. Stevenson Nationals. Hi, Mr. Will Rogers. Giddy up. Bats, Red Sox patch. I heard the new Method Man uh, album is dope for my hip hop fans. I have yet to listen to it though. Jason told me it's good. Might have to give it a spin. Hey, the pregame meal. A bucket of chicken. Yeah, that's a quick way to uh, to the bot room. Stack Mojo. Hopefully, we got a big hit here. Ice Cube got a new album? Oh no. What is he like doing a field trip or something with the kids? There you go. A Marlins autograph for Sandy Alcantara. Rookie autograph for the Marlins right there. Very nice. Alright. That's it for that. However, we still have the uh, box toppers. So let's see what we have here. Got a Joey Votto. No, they don't make uh, sleeves big enough for this one. But there you go. For the reds inside the box stopper, I'm just going to put it in here. Okay. Rosario, Mets. Alright, so neither of them autographed. What we have here in this box topper. The Antarctic. That's pretty cool. Oh, the cryptocurrency still selling for, for some coin? Nice. That's a beautiful picture right there, the Antarctic. That's pretty cool. Obviously going to the uh, non-baseball spot. Banff National Park. Natural Wonders. Man, this makes me want to go out and see nature. You know, the bucks are starting to whoop into the heat's ass here. Got 
got a Bryce Harper right there not autographed unfortunately alright last box topper hopefully we got something nice hopefully an autograph here let's see good luck everybody And an Otani, last but not least, box topper for the Angels. All right, that's going to do it for the break. So, Alex, do you want me to ship you the rip card? Like, do you want me to ship you this? Even though I opened it already? I don't know. All right, let's recap the hits here. So, we got cryptocurrency, which is pretty sweet. <sighs> The Davis short print rip card exclusive and a buy as many, which is numbered to 25. All right, we're not considering those hits there uh, for the hitless promo, but these are right here. We got Mookie Betts of the Red Sox. All right, so the Red Sox with a hit. Let me make this easier for myself. All right, so the Red Sox with a hit right there. So patches, autographs, and one on ones are considered hits. Uh, Correa of the Astros relic there. Betts Red Sox. Braun Brewers. Gregorius Yankees. All right. Rizzo of the Cubs. Got you, Alex. Rizzo of the Cubs. Carpenter Cardinals. Odor Rangers. Molina Cardinals. They got a hit already. Uh, Cano, Mariners. Goldschmidt, D-backs. Yeah, I got freaking Brook Lopez shooting threes. Gotta hit the NBA right now. You Darvish Cubs patch. And Brinson on the Marlins patch. That guy's, no, not Brinson, Bateman. That guy's garbage. Anyway. Boo. And we got the, we got some autographs here. We have Alcantara, Marlins. They got a hit already. They're in the green. Uh, Hicks of the Cardinals. They're in the green. Woodruff of the Brewers. They're in the green. And the 101 for the Cubs mini printing plate of Ben Zobrist. So Cubs, I believe, already got a hit there. Uh, they're in the green? Yes, they are. Cool beans. All right, so. Let's see who's going to win 100 bucks. Remember, we do split the 100 bucks in two. So the more spots uh, that you have that went hitless, which, first of all, would suck. But... It would give you chances at getting the entire hundred dollars, you know, potentially winning some of your money back there. So if you're not in the green, unfortunately, that means you did not get a hit. But like I said, you could potentially win a hundred bucks here. All right, so I got the list copied, coming over to the randomizer, put it up on the screen there, paste it. Uh, but first, let's roll the die here. Well, Eric, I'm not considering it a hit. I'm not considering it a hit because we opened it and there was nothing in it. You know, it wasn't a number. It wasn't an autograph. There wasn't a relic, and it wasn't a one on one. So, if the rip was unopened, I would have considered it a hit. But since we opened it and it wasn't an autograph, a relic, or a one on one, 
I figured the fair, the fairest thing to do is, you know, not consider it a hit. But had the rib card remained unopened, I would have considered it a hit. You know what I mean? Alright, so we got the number nine here. Got the random pulled up. Top two spots, 150 each. Uh well Alex, your name is your name should be in here. Uh let me see. Yeah, you're right there, man. Like I said, I'm not considering the Rays rip card a hit because we opened it. There was no autograph, there was no relic, and there was no one on one inside of it. So the rip card, I'm not considering it a hit. But had it been remained unopened, I would have considered it a hit in that scenario. But since we opened it, no autograph, no patch, no one on one came out not a hit all right so again we're gonna go nine times in the randomizer here top two names 150 each good luck eight and the money shot nine boom nine times Top two names. We got Joe Pa and Brett B. Congratulations to the two of you. You guys want some break credit? I will be emailing that out to you shortly. Because I'm pretty sure you want to use it like ASAP. So, congrats to Joe Pa and Brett. You guys won the break credit. And uh, thank you everyone else for participating in the break. Hopefully you got something nice. And we'll get that right out to